Oh, hello. Long time no see. It's Saturday, May 2nd. I don't remember the last time I did this. Um, it's definitely been weeks. I, um, I'm settling into my quarantine life. The first, like, couple weeks were, I mean, I know, I'm going to preface this with, I do not have this hard in the grand scheme of people that have this hard. But having said that, we all feel the way we feel. And I felt for the first couple of weeks very, um, I don't know if depressed is the right word. That seems like an overstatement, but I was crying a lot. Um, like every day. And I mean, rightfully so. The world is in turmoil. Um, but I'm feeling a little more optimistic. It probably doesn't hurt that the weather is really nice today. I went out, I go out, so let's start. I've settled into a routine. I should put this down. I've settled into a routine and I, um, I basically I go out every morning for a walk. Um, I wear my mask. I stay as far away from people as I can. No, not a very nice angle. Okay, let's try this again. Um, probably better because it's always better if it's from a higher angle. Okay, so yeah, so I have my morning walks. I come home. Um, some days I get dressed, some days I don't. Most days I don't. And I go right to work right here at this table. I, I actually, I have a, a big screen that I, you know, hook up to my laptop that usually sits right over here. But yesterday at the end of the work day, I was like, I'm, t I'm taking most evidence of work off this table and putting it off to the side so I don't have to look at it all weekend. So anyway, so I settle into my routine. I go out for a walk every morning. I work all day. Two nights a week I have, um, I do Pilates on Zoom with my Pilates instructor. And several nights a week I have Zoom cocktails. Um, and I mean, you know, there's, I will say, if I'm gonna look on the bright side of things, um, it has, this has given me a chance to spend more time, albeit virtually, with friends of mine who I wouldn't otherwise be connecting with on such a regular basis. So for example, I have a group of my friends from graduate school who all live in the Boston area, and I usually have a happy hour with them on Friday nights. Tuesday nights, I usually have a happy hour with my friend Sandy in Vermont, my friend Nicole in Boston, and my friend Heather in Colorado. And then I've also been having happy hours with like my sister's work people, my brother's work people. So it's been actually, you know, in that way, in that way, it's been nice. Um, I will say it is very solitary being here by myself. For the most part, I've been ordering in groceries, not going out really very much for them. Um, it's, it, like in the beginning, I was going out a little more, but now for the most part, I get delivery. Although today, I went out for a long walk this morning. It was so nice. It was like probably like 55 degrees when I went out at like 730. And I just went out now, and actually I was hot in this. So I went out just to get, I'll show you, I picked up a few things. Nothing exciting. But, um, but anyway, so that's been life at the moment. I finished reading, I've read a couple books. The book that I read that I could not put down was called Verity. I can't remember the name of the author. Maybe it's Colleen Hoover. It sucked me in from the minute I, I stood, like from the second I started, I was sucked in, I think I finished it in like two days. And like, that is normally the type of reading I do when I'm on vacation, but remember, while I am home, I'm still working every day, so I don't have that much time. So just says a lot of how, about how much I like the book. Um, so I read that. I, um, last night I finished the series finale of Homeland. So if any of you have watched Homeland, or if you haven't, listen to me. <laughs> Homeland has had, maybe this was season eight, and this, is the this was the final season, and Homeland, the first season or two at the time, it was one of my all-time favorite shows, ranked up with like the first 
one or two seasons of damages in terms of like my favorite shows ever. And then, you know, Homeland, it was good, but it wasn't as good like the last few seasons. But I, you know, I started watching the final, this finale season and last night I watched the final, final, final episode ever and I just loved how it ended. Like, I just loved it. So I finished that. I am also watching Shit's Creek and oh my God. Like, everybody's told me to watch it. So many people talked about it. And I watched the first few episodes and I was like, yeah, I mean, this is funny and clever, but you know, okay. But the more I got into it, and the more I got to know the characters, okay, Moira Rose, totally outrageous, and her get-ups are, I, like, I want to dress like her. I mean, I don't really, I do actually. It's not really me, but I, like, I, some of it is me, but I'm schizophrenic. But anyway, I love her outfits. I love her outfits. She wears all sorts of, like, McQueen, Dries Van Noten, like, really, like, edgy, cool, lots of black, not a lot of color, very state, like statement necklaces, statement jewelry, crazy shoes, and almost always a pair of like, um, very interesting patterned like tights with skirts and stuff. So I love her. And then in um, the son in the show, in real life, he's Daniel Levy. What's his name in the show? David? David Rose, I think. But he has this very quiet, wry wit and sarcasm. And he has this like whispery voice. And I just find him so entertaining. So if you are not watching Schitt's Creek, try it. Give yourself at least until episode three or four of the first season and you'll get hooked. So those are the main things that I've been watching. I've been watching some other stuff. Um, like all my normal like true crime, like Dateline, 48 Hours, reruns of Law & Order, like all my favorite st my standards. But um, so yeah, so that's it. I also am cleaning my own apartment, which I know, let's play the teeny tiny violin for me, so sad. Um, it's just not a task I enjoy, <laughs> but obviously it's not the time to have my, the person that comes to clean. Um, I actually spoke to her yesterday and she hasn't been going anywhere so I would actually be comfortable with her coming here but I don't think she's comfortable with getting her on the subway and I clearly don't want to make her uncomfortable um, but I having said that I've been paying her anyway because I don't want her to be in a position where she's without a paycheck because of this um, so yeah so yesterday after work I cleaned my apartment and I this morning I like did my sheets, like, you know, made the bed, you know, I make the bed every morning, but I changed my sheets. And I did another interesting task. <laughs> so I don't usually, I have a lovely washer and dryer, stackable one in here. I hardly ever use it because I usually send my laundry out. But the place I was sending it to closed, although it's now reopened three days a week. Um, but I've been doing my own laundry. But my washing machine had this really like not very nice smell. So I was like, what can I do to fix this? So I pulled out the manual and it said, it told me what to do. You run this special cycle and you can either put in Clorox bleach, which I didn't have, actually I didn't have either of these things, or you can get these Tide packets to clean the washer. Um, so I ordered the Tide packets and I ran that through this morning and, and once the cycle was done, it smelled way better, but like the inside of my washer was still all sudsy. So I had to like run another cycle without anything in it and when, in the end, I think it worked out. But this is me doing the home tasks that I wouldn't normally be doing. Um, yeah, is that really it? So yeah, so I went, so I popped out today to get, I wouldn't really call these necessities, while I did get dressed, I did not put on makeup. Because why put on makeup when you have to put a mask on and then the makeup's gonna get all over your mask and whatever. I guess I could have put on eye makeup. But, so I went out and I got, um, okay. Koki is what I use when I make my Vespers. So you can either use this Koki or the Lille Blanc. Historically, I've always used Lille Blanc, but I really have decided I like the Koki better. I do two parts gin, one part vodka, one part cokey. The other thing I got is a bottle of Cointreau. 
because I think I'm going to relive the Sex in the City days, and tonight's cocktail, I think I'm going to make myself um, a Cosmopolitan, which is also why I got limes and also why I got some cranberry juice. I don't ever drink cranberry juice, but you do need a splash of, just a splash of cranberry juice in a Cosmo to make it just the very perfect light, shade, light pink shade. Um, and in other good news, so actually, I think another reason I'm feeling a little more upbeat over the last week is I think people in New York are cautiously optimistic. Places that were closed are reopening, obviously with very strict like cleanliness and social distancing measures. But my favorite smoked fish place, Sable Smoked Fish, reopened around like just a couple blocks away from me. So I got some lobster salad, which I might have for lunch today, and I got some smoked salmon, which I'm gonna have tomorrow morning for breakfast. Also, my favorite Chinese place, one, I have two Chinese places within a few blocks of me. One is called Tri Dim Shanghai, maybe, and the other is called Pig Heaven, both of which had been closed. Pig Heaven has reopened, obviously only for pickup and delivery, but that's fine. So things are just, things just seem, we are on the upswing. I know we still have a long way to go, but it's nice to just, feel a little bit better about things. So I guess that's the, the end of my yapping. Um, yeah, I guess that's the end of my yapping. And then let's just, let me put my shoes back on so you could see the whole outfit that I have on today. I literally, you know, under normal circumstances on a day like today, I would have just stayed in my Lululemon gear, but um, I was like, I'm gonna get dressed. So. Gucci necklace, Gucci sweater, t-shirt from Target, J brand jeans, Gucci slides. Oh, apparently I'm a Gucci girl today. Um, oh, and my New York Yankees hat, which I wear on my morning walks. Um, yeah, I feel like there was just one more thing that I was gonna say. Now I do not remember what it is. Say lovey. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. I know that this is a really, this is a really crappy time. Um, so yeah, I hope, you know, under the circumstances, everybody's doing as well as possible. Um, and I guess that's it. Happy weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye.